Well, hello, my dear creative, and in this Parisian vlog, I want to share with you the best moments of my trip to Paris. I want to show you sketches and drawings which I did during this trip. I want to share with you my favorite places, uh, parks, and the most beautiful and inspiring museums and exhibitions I visited there. So keep watching. First of all, please let me show you the set of materials I prepared for today's uh, sketching. So here is a pencil, black liner, gray marker, brown marker, pink and red ones, plus a sketchbook. And all of this will fit into my little handbag. As you can see, you don't need like a lot of materials to start sketching. I hope it will inspire you. All right, so this is my look for today. Today is pretty chill in Paris. It's plus five degrees, uh, so I have a warm coat. Good morning, Paris. This is super early Sunday morning. It's 7 a.m. Hello, Place Concorde. I feel like I'm the only person that early in the streets of Paris. <laughs> Nobody looks like I'm the only tourist. Morning sun on Place Concorde. It's so beautiful. This would be my best advice for you guys. Wake up super early in the morning and go explore Paris on Sunday morning because it will be fantastic. This was actually one of the best experiences I had uh, during this Parisian trip. I really do walking very early in the morning. Well, because the museum is still closed and I feel so cold and frozen, it really needs some brunch. <laughs> and this place looks really nice. Just look at all these croissants and baguettes. So I ordered uh, juice from black carrot. Here is the right croissant, of course. And this is my time for my first sketch of these surroundings. Here it is. And my hands feel so frozen because it's so cold outside. Well, this cafe was next to Rue de Rivoli and look what's happening here. Running marathon, April 14th. By the way, Hotel de Ville is absolutely glorious. I feel so happy now. This is an early morning. I'm on a scene. There. I have a goosebumps. I don't know about you guys. And now head over to Louvre. Look at this square people in front of Louvre and two tree gardens to the right. This is actually a very rare air situation because there are no tourists, almost no people in front of Louvre. And this is so calm and chill right now. That's why it's highly recommended for you guys to wake up early and have a walk. I feel so hungry now that I'm feeling that I'll have my lunch in this red cafe. By the way, right now I am in one of my favorite places in Paris, and this is Parc Monceau. Now I'm sitting in this uh, cafe with red marquises. I'm inside, and here are my sketches. So the first one is with Onion soup, traditional French onion soup. Here is my second one. I love sketching while waiting for my order. Okay, now I'm at the Museum of Nissim de Commando. It's right next to Manso Park. And I really, truly love this museum. So it was built in 20th century, but the collection of art and furniture, it's from 18th century. And I highly, highly recommend you to visit this museum if you're interested in interior design. Well, my next step is Place Vendôme, and it's one of my favorite squares in Paris because the most beautiful hotel is located here. And this is the Ritz Hotel. Right now I'm in the Ritz Hotel and I'm doing a sketch of this marvelous, luxurious interior. Just look at these colors. This was always my dream to visit Ritz and I'm absolutely enjoying it. Now I have actually a new dream to live in Ritz Hotel. So every morning I can wake up and go out to the city and see this magnificent view. And this is another wonderful morning in Paris. As you can see, it's so much warmer here today. So enjoying our morning coffee. It's so hard to live in Paris and not to like eat every day all these sweets and baguettes and wonderful croissants. Also now it's a season of fresh fruits and berries, so really 
enjoying simple moments in life. Please let me know in the comments, did you struggle with overeating while being in Paris? Because I definitely did. You literally feel like you're indulging yourself in all these goods that you have around you, like this good goat cheese salad. Also in this vlog I want to say how much I love Parisian doorways. I instantly get inspiration when I see all these architectural details, fantastic doorways, facades. I think Paris is the most inspirational city in Europe for me. Just look at these facades. Aren't they amazing? I instantly want to start drawing and sketching while seeing it. Right now I'm in one of my favorite gardens of Paris. This is Jardin de Luxembourg, Luxembourg Garden. As you can see, Parisians really love sitting here, having their brunches, lunches, enjoying themselves in the sun. The next step uh, is a cold cafe, Café de Fleur. It's very close to Jardin de Luxembourg. Also, doing some sketches here in this cafe, Ernest Hemingway used to sit and work on his books. Right, and this is the last part of my blog, which is dedicated to the exhibitions. And this is the first exhibition I visited uh, while in Paris. An amazing watercolor artist, Alex Hillcourt, uh, invited me to visit this exhibition. This is actually the last day of the exhibition. And uh, here are some of his drawings and drawings made by his fellow friends, artists. Right after this uh, exhibition, I head over to Musée des Arts Décoratifs. Uh, it's right next to Louvre, near Tuileries Gardens. And I visited an amazing exhibition by about Gio Ponti. This is famous Italian architect and designer. Um, he was editor of famous Domus magazine. I was absolutely enchanted by this exhibition because maybe especially for me as an interior designer because as you know my background is six years uh, studying interior architecture in the best Russian art academy in St. Petersburg. I really love this kind of exhibitions and this one uh, reminded me a little bit of Isaloni exhibition in Milano that I visited. Uh, because there are so many furniture, so much uh, furniture interiors. Plus here I recorded so many sketches and as you know I'm a big fan of interior drawings. I have my online school of sketching for interior designers and architects. And the final exhibition I want to show you in this vlog is an exhibition at Orangerie Museum. It's uh, right next to Louvre and Tudorie Gardens. And these are famous water lilies by Claude Monet. It was my dream to visit these rooms because it's absolutely fantastic. All right, my dear creatives, finally I want to show you my Airbnb par apartment in Paris, um, which my husband and I booked on Airbnb. So this particular one is in Montmartre. Montmartre. <laughs> Montmartre. And it has a magnificent view to this Parisian houses and facades and like each morning you have such a wonderful view of the Paris. It was also my dream to live on Montmartre. And these are a couple of sketches if you want to watch more please check my other video on YouTube and subscribe to my Instagram. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, check my other videos on the channel and subscribe to my channel because I post here a new video every week. Bye for now!